When storms come, they tend to wash away the things we value, necessary things, important things. Storms erode and degrade, they threaten. Maybe it's a road. And when that road leads to a facility charged with reclaiming water, that road becomes everything, especially to those who hold the responsibility of safe and efficient operations in their hands. This is the Clark County Water Reclamation District plant. They treat sewer from uh, all of Las Vegas, the Las Vegas Strip. They have a, a treatment plant here and it treats all of the, their customers for Clark County in the Las Vegas area. And the, the plant basically has two sides, on the west side and the east side. It's split by the Las Vegas wash. They have infrastructure that crosses the wash, uh, several pipelines that are part of their treatment plant process that they needed to protect from flooding and erosion and scour. And to do that, they uh, started this channel improvement project. The project will be able to reclaim about 40 acres of land for future plant expansion that they can now do because they've done the improvements out here. The other part of the project is adding access across the wash. Because the plant is on both sides of the wash, any small flood that would happen would close down their road and they'd have to go several miles around the backside and so that really helps with their operations to have a, a nice bridge that they can cross at any time during any weather event, basically. Salvaging a bridge, recycling a bridge, not only just it's good for the environment, you're using something again, but it's also important uh, for the project because we are working the floodplain and how we were able to expedite the construction. And that was one of the ideas that the contractor uh, uh, came up with and we were able to work with the contractor rather than just saying no that's not gonna work we went to their yard we inspected the bridge and our engineers did an amazing job doing all the analysis uh, recommending improvements that are needed to that bridge. How do you protect the community's water supply? How do you ensure a crucial facility maintains operations and remains accessible at a moment's notice? So before the project was built this was a natural uh, unlined dirt wash that came through and it was prone to flooding. Every time it would flood it would wash out their road, their access road, and this project cleaned that up and made it so they could access and have a better control of the flood water so it wouldn't damage their, their plant. Thoughtful ideas that translate into real-life applications are nothing new here, but it's the way in which you approach them with determination, collaboration. Here's the thing. You can tackle challenges quickly with little collaboration, or you can listen to others, weigh in, toss out, trade ideas. One of the other aspect of this project was how we delivered this job. You know, initially this project was a design bid build, a traditional design bid build project. And uh, uh, the client thought that to expedite the job, we should think about construction management at risk. We were very familiar with the design challenges and to get a fresh perspective, it was very important to get a contractor on board. We had design documents ready, so it was the right time for the contractor to uh, come in, review it, and come up with certain challenges. You can introduce technologies that will meet and then exceed everyone's expectations. The one of the ways we can do that, we can help them, we can solve their challenges is by using uh, technologies. In this particular case, uh, we employed two-dimensional hydraulic modeling to understand the flood inundation on their site and then uh, making sure that whatever we do, all the improvements we do are not causing any adverse impacts to the people who, are, uh, who live upstream or downstream uh, of their project. Those were some of the first times we were doing two-dimensional hydraulic modeling in the Las Vegas area using this uh, software. The other innovative solution that we used was AutoCAD using Civil 3D. And the Civil 3D allowed us to do all of the grading for all of the projects. And again, you know, technology is very, very critical, but how to bring technology into the play to solve a client's problem, understanding their big picture, and then finding the right technology that can help them. Understanding that technology is not the end, but means to the end is very, very critical. In the end, it's not about a storm, it's about the people. Making sure vital facilities are accessible and safe, and that ultimately, a community's water supply is protected.
So it's such a great privilege to be in this market, be in this community and help our clients and our customers and solve the problems because ultimately every problem that we solve, we are solving something that makes lives better for me, for my family, for us, uh, everyone.